Welcome to OMB Warehouse, home of the Gray Goat Garage. Today, what we're going to do is disconnect the low oil sensor on this Predator 212cc engine. Um, this, this is typical of most Chinese engines these days. It, it's all the same arrangement, but um, what we're going to do is um, show you how to disable that, and you will need to check your oil. But uh, I get a lot of questions. Hey, I just installed all these parts and my engine won't start. Well, do you have oil in it? Um, what? And, you know, it's on its side. Is it okay? Well, no, it's not okay. What happens is you're going to go around the left-hand corner with your mini bike or go-kart. You're going to lean into it. The low oil sensor sits on the inside of the block here. When the oil shifts over to this side, at that point, the low oil sensor is going to say, hey, I have no oil. I'm going to shut off the engine. So let's get this thing disconnected. The low oil sensor is a great thing to have if you're running a cement mixer or a generator, but for a mini bike or go-kart, it's not such a great thing. So it's a very simple disconnect, and here, here's how we're going to do it. You'll notice all the wires go through this little plastic clip here. I'm just going to take a little screwdriver and break open that clip. What you're going to see is a, a whole gang of wires. This yellow wire coming out of the block is for the low oil sensor unit and it goes up into this little gold box, goldish silverish color box here which uh, is some voodoo magic. I have no idea what's in there. But we're simply just going to disconnect these two wires right here. And now I've got the low oil sensor disconnected from this voodoo magic box. And then I'm just going to simply unplug that there. So now you can see that my wires here with the low oil, with the on off switch, are completely disconnected from the low oil sensor. Um, this engine is going to get a complete build up that we'll document here. But um, I'm going to go ahead and take off the Voodoo Magic Box with uh, an 8 millimeter socket and we'll discard that. A lot of guys will take this wire here and clip it off. I don't care about that because like I said, we are going to uh, build up this engine and uh, we'll, we'll document that and we'll show you uh, what uh, I feel is the best way to build a Hemi engine. So you can tuck all your wires back in there. Your on off switch still will work the way it's supposed to work. And when you go around a corner, you're not gonna have the engine shut off on you. So for go-karts, mini bikes, this is the first thing I like to do with these engines. Um, just to make everything uh, keep going and having fun. Thank you for stopping by OMB Warehouse. Don't forget to visit us, ombwarehouse.com, or say hi to the Grey Goats Garage. Thank you very much.